the next generation uh, robotic landers uh, will be able to carry uh, scientific payloads uh, or exploration payloads to the moon, asteroids, or, or other airless bodies to uh, perform, uh, to gather scientific data uh, or as a precursor for a human robotic mission. It's been many years since we've landed, um, soft landed on another body. This prototype lander will simulate landing on that body uh, completely autonomous using onboard sensors, uh, the onboard computer, and uh, navigation solutions that actually command thrusters to open and close as it soft lands here on the Earth. The prototype lander that we're testing today is actually the second uh, prototype lander. The first uh, lander used compressed air as, a, as its uh, propulsion for the propulsion system and only gave us about 10 seconds of flight time. Uh, this prototype lander uses hydrogen peroxide, which is a green propellant, and we can get up to 60 seconds of flight time, allowing us to get more uh, navigation solutions and check out more sensors uh, for this flight phase. This test will validate that the software uh, will act correctly when it sees a off-nominal condition, such as going off course. There are certain thrusters on this vehicle that will turn on that will counteract that path and put it back in the path it needs to go to. The vehicle needs to be able to go in one direction and not in two directions. And this was a, a solution, was a rail system with off-the-shelf skateboards to limit the direction uh, just in, in one, one direction. So as of the guidance navigation and control team, what our team works on is figuring out where the vehicle is and where the vehicle has to point its thrusters in order to make it go where it wants to go. So in order to do this, we develop simulations both on the computer and through uh, ground-based prototypes such as the one that we're developing here to both uh, develop our algorithms and then to test those algorithms in a either simulated or real environment to verify that as a system everything works together as we intend intended to.